Well, OpenAI have just finished their spring update and announced a brand new language model, which is GPT-4 O and O standing for Omnichannel. So this has been an amazing update and I'm going to attempt to unpack it for you as briefly as I can so that you get all the important information from this announcement. The biggest of all being that they now have a new voice assistant effectively. Your chat GPT is going to be able to just talk to you in real time and interact with you. And what I really like about it is that you can now just like interrupt it. So when you speak to ChatGPT and it starts talking back to you, which we can already do with like the iPhone app now, really what's happening when you're speaking is it's typing out your prompt. And then when it speaks back to you, it's just reading out the, uh, the answer that it's typing out in the background. But now it's changing. This voice assistant is going to give you like live almost uh, hardly any latency at all interactive chat with chat GPT. And as I say, it can be giving you an answer and you can literally just interrupt it and just carry on. So it feels super, really natural or maybe supernatural is probably the right word. And this is Myra here, the chief technology officer of uh, OpenAI. And she is kind of going through what they're, um, what they're talking about here. And here's the big things. So uh, desktop app, um, which is going to be fantastic for Mac. Uh, you're going to be able to run ChatGPT on your Mac, give it access to your screen, for example, and you're going to be able to, you know, get it to look at what's on your screen and start interacting with you about that. So uh, um, in the example that they gave, they showed some graphs and everything and copied some code. When you copy the code, it went into ChatGPT and they uh, were then able to talk about the code, you know, like a real person kind of looking over your shoulder and giving you advice and everything. Pretty amazing. The other thing that um, I really picked up from the event is the fact that there is now, you know, blurred lines really between ChatGPT and ChatGPT+. Plus because uh, they're giving everybody access to this GPT-4.0. And I think um, we'll have a look in a moment, but I'm pretty sure they're giving everybody access now as well to the uh, GPT store. So the only real differences between the plus version and the free version is going to be the allowances, the amount you can use it and everything. Um, from what I gather, they have not updated their pricing page at the moment to really like tell you everything that they've done in this uh, announcement. And not everybody has got access to this yet. Uh, I have been able to go into Playground here and we can see there is the new GPT-4.0 and there's GPT-4 Turbo. And let me just show you how fast it is as well. It's really quick. So if I was just to say, for example, um, please give me some tips on getting a better night's sleep. And then we run that. So GPT-4 Turbo is on the right. And look how fast it is. Like GPT-4.0 um, has just whipped through that. Uh, it's used 278 tokens for that there. And, and GPT-4 Turbo, which of course was pretty quick, uh, is, is just sort of, you know, cranking it out at not even half the speed. Uh, there it is. So uh, the latency, um, what is that? 18,020 milliseconds versus 2,756 milliseconds. So it's so much faster. That's uh, one place that you can play around with it at the moment, guaranteed more or less, is in the playground for GPT-4.0. Just select it up here like that. But on ChatGPT, um, it's going to be coming to plus users first, apparently. And then we can literally start interacting with it. Now, they have actually put on their website already this. So this is really useful because if you don't want to watch the announcement, which wasn't particularly long and it was actually quite entertaining, then you can come to this page and look at all of the cool features um, one by one. So it tells you there. So O is for Omni and on the screen at the event, they actually put Omni channel and uh Another really cool thing that you can do with it, one of the best demos that I saw uh, in this was the fact that she can speak Italian, um, Mura, and uh, her colleague was just speaking to her in English and ChatGPT was able to just translate in real time, really, what he was saying straight into Italian for her and then with her speaking Italian back, 
translating into English. It was really good. So you could argue that really ChatGPT is going to help connect people together, you know, a lot easier. I've been abroad many times and not been able to communicate with some people who really do not speak English at all. And unfortunately, me being English, it, it, you know, it's, it's hard to learn every language, right? So this is a really great way to connect with people using your phone. We used to use, like when I went to Ukraine, I had to use, uh, you know, Google Translate, for example. And it's, it's still a bit fiddly. You hand your phone over to the other person and they're typing it out like this and then you take it back. Oh, yeah. Now we can just have a chat almost and we can really get what each other's saying in real time. So I think that is a very, very exciting update. And as I say, there you go. You've got the uh, a new, slightly new interface, apparently. I don't really see much difference to what I already have right here. Um, it's pretty straightforward and simple. And we've got our chats down the left hand side. Um, you're going to be able to browse through the chats, which I have no idea why they did not do that way sooner. And that was just like the most basic uh, user admin thing ever, wasn't it? But yeah, they didn't do that. So uh, this is an example video right here of GPT-40 kind of being someone's eyes when they're in London. So they're looking around and it's going to describe what it sees and everything. You know, it will probably recognize Buckingham Palace quite easily. Then there's another demo here. Um, you know, this is more sort of a business use case. Uh, a customer service proof of concept. So let, let's just try and listen to this one. So we've got like chat GPT there actually solving a problem with chat GPT, which is just crazy. Um, it, the other thing that was pretty amazing in this demo was the chat GPT voice now is gone to a new level. Uh, I mean, it can change the tone of its voice. It can be excitable. Um, there's a great clip. I think it's just along here somewhere where he's getting it to read like a story to this guy. And they're asking for more emotion. Let me see if I can um, find that for you. They're asking for more emotion about here. Let's have a look. Stood. Let's amplify the drama. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, there was a robot named Bite. Bite Can you was do this in a robotic voice now. Initiating dramatic robotic voice. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So it really does feel much more human now, and it's made ChatGPT feel even more accessible than it was. So you know, before we had to type it out or whatever, we could speak, but it was it just not as natural as this. When you see this demo and everything, and uh, you know they're actually just using it and saying. Uh, also, how do I, you know, what motion do you think that I'm sharing with you at the moment? You know, how do I look? And he had a smiley face and it was able to pick that up, no problem. And there was like a couple of sort of mistakes that they were making. I don't know whether they were deliberate, probably deliberate to kind of show that it could cope with um, mistakes and correct itself and everything else. But it, it, it was a great demo. And I think um, you're going to love this new update for sure. But you can read more about it here. I'm going to put a link to this underneath because there's loads and loads of good demos. Benchmarks wise, it's coming out uh, on top. As you can see right here, this is a text evaluation. Then there's an audio uh, performance one here, lower being better. And then GPT-40 16 shot is coming out on top of uh, even Whisper version 3. That was their other um, model just there. And then you can see how good it is at audio translation. So it is now top. GPT-40 is now better than anything out there, including Gemini um, and all of these other different models. So... 
Um, the other thing that I think is impressive is the way that they've reduced the price of this by 50%, which is huge over GPT-4 Turbo. They've managed to, you know, create or use fewer tokens to do the same job. So here's some languages and how they have managed to do this new compression to make it more efficient, basically, which is probably why they're able to offer it out on ChatGPT free. And just here, like this one, this is Tamil language, 3.3 times fewer tokens. So for this particular sentence, which normally would have been 116 tokens, that is now 35. So these are really, really big improvements in efficiency um, using this new model as well. And then uh, they talk a bit about safety there as well and the availability. So that's what we all really want to know, isn't it? When can we have it? So it's saying that uh, they're going to be rolling it out. It will be available on the free tier, which I think is really impressive. I think they just want to give everybody a good sample of how useful this is. And then um, we're going to roll out a new version of voice mode with GPT-4.0 in alpha within ChatGPT Plus in the coming weeks. So I'll really be looking forward to that. And developers uh, can already use GPT-4.0 in the API as well as text and vision. So if you're like me and you have a business that uses this, um, we have FastBots, which I invite you to come and grab a free chatbot, by the way then we'll definitely be implementing this new model ASAP, uh, maybe even as fast as tomorrow, uh, so that we can get this in here and, and we can start, you know, just constantly upgrading the platform. And by the way, if you uh, love ChatGPT and you're interested in ChatGPT, you've got to join this free group of mine. We've got 10,000 members now. We're all on here. We were literally all coming on and watching the updates. We're all into AI, mid-journey, you know, everything. Uh, so come and join in this free group. There's a link underneath this video. I'd love to see you there. But those are really the main things um, that came out of this. And uh, I think it's a really exciting update. When you watch the, um, the actual main presentation, I think you'll be pretty impressed with it. And you'll definitely, um, you know, want to be getting your hands on it as soon as possible. So that's it for this brief kind of overview. Um, a bit hectic, a bit rushed, but at least we got it out there. And how uh, now you really understand what's been going on and what all the excitement has been about with this new update. So thanks very much for watching and look out for more videos coming to you in just a second.